Peace, peace, family. Let me holler at y'all for a second, right? Um, now I just blasted out a post today about community patrols and uh and uh you know letting people know that we we offer legal um legal consultation uh basic law courses um you know stuff of that nature um so i just came from right now i'm on my patrol shit so um galena what up um i just came from court with this brother um and this is why it is very very pertinent it is very very dire that you gain at least at the very least a basic law of knowledge uh, i mean knowledge of law um, excuse me um criminal and civil um so things like this don't happen i just came from uh, court with this brother who um works at a gas station the brother went outside on the property of the gas station clint you know was cleaning out the the, the uh, parking lot area um had an interaction with a with an individual in the car meanwhile milwaukee police milwaukee police had been watching this particular now mind you they they have been uh praying on this particular um property this particular business how ironic that it's one of the only two black owned gas stations in milwaukee um so they was watching this property, you know, for we all we already know what that is. But they ran up on this brother because they said um he handed something to an individual in a vehicle, which they constituted um to be a possible drug transaction. Now from there, they pass searched this brother and find a gun on him. Mind you, this brother um legally owned the weapon um and just happened to you know be be caught in that situation so they trying to charge this brother with um violation of concealed carry law right so his attorney um you know clearly at no point is this motherfucker and of course it's the public pretender you know what i mean esquire type shit um, is discussing defenses with this brother. He telling this brother, oh, it's a clear cut case. You know what I'm saying? They got you. You know what I'm saying? They can easily prove this. You know what I'm saying? You should take this deal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Handling this brother. Now, first of all, you talking to somebody who my very first criminal case was a gun case at uh, 15 years old. I was caught with a weapon. Um, the circumstances I already knew because I, I vowed that as a criminal, any criminal act I, I did, I would know the law <laughs> so I could get myself out of it. So similar situation, um, they pat searched me without my consent illegally um, and found the gun. So at 15, I told these motherfuckers, I'm finna, I'll be right out, I ain't tripping. That case was thrown out for one, because you cannot, with no probable cause, you cannot violate somebody's rights and pass search them. It don't matter what you find. That moves for a motion for suppression of evidence, which then, if that's the evidence that the whole case is based on, moves for a motion for dismissal, right? That's exactly what happened. So, the whole time I'm telling this brother, like, first of all, um, this gas station is right now subject to malicious, um, malicious, um, investigation and, and monitoring by Milwaukee Police Department. We've already been to the city attorney. You know what I'm saying? We've already sat down with police captains and let them know we know what the hell y'all doing. This shit gonna have to stop. Man. And you know, for the most part it has. You still got a couple officers who, who, who think it's a gang who still come through, you know, busting people down at the pumps and all that. Y'all see, y'all see my post. But that is very rare in occurrence now. Um, but the, you know he's telling his brother to take these deals so he gets jazzy with me you know what I'm saying like, Where did, when did you get your law degree you know what I'm saying like when you get your law degree then you can defend them I uh, certain most certain the fuck will you know what I'm saying like <laughs> but 
Meanwhile, while this off, while this uh, public pretender goes off and, and you know storms off into the another courtroom to do whatever the fuck he, he's doing, um, I take it upon myself to take a second look at the CCW statutes. And let me tell you what it says: You do not need concealed carry to own a weapon in your home, your place of work, or on your own property. Now, how that pertains to vehicles, I'm going to have to holler back at y'all at that. But that means this brother was clearly at work. The parking lot of the parking lot of this gas station is still private property in the property of that gas station, which is where they found this weapon on him. So they are in violation of charging this brother for violating a, a CCW law when clearly he, he that's not the case so i asked the attorney i said do you know the law for uh, ccw what is and isn't allowed and he says yeah well you know if you don't have ccw you can't own a weapon you can't take it out to the public um so you know you know i gotta be i, I you know what i'm saying I, I gotta do what i do so i'm like are you sure about that bro you know what i'm saying like so I read it off to him. And I'm like, you're not familiar with this, this law? You're not familiar with these circumstances not being in violation of the law? Well, he says, well, uh, you still, if you work in security and you're at work, you still have to have CCW. It clearly does not state that. So you're trying to tell me that every individual who works security has CCWs? You're trying to tell me that every person who is an armed security officer has concealed carry. That's what you're trying to tell me. I highly doubt that. I highly the fuck doubt that. So, this brother is clearly innocent. This attorney clearly was not trying to help this brother. He giving us every, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, we'll never get a chance at this judge. He can, you know, if I say let's give him five days, he'll give him five days. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. So, the brother made the right move and got rid of this nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, this is why I'm gonna need y'all to listen to me, bro. I'm trying to help y'all. Milwaukee, I'm really trying to help y'all. Learn law. Come, come, come fuck with me. Fuck with me, you know I got it. You know what I mean? Let's teach y'all some law. And I'm not trying to teach you niggas law, you know what I'm saying? And teach y'all how to operate so y'all could just commit crimes and get away with the shit. That's not what the fuck I'm. That's like niggas who get their CCWs and the first thing they say, man, any nigga say something to me, I'm popping a nigga like, man, that's not what that's for, my nigga, like, you're not finna just be out here popping niggas just cause you got CCW it doesn't work that way so we need to we, you know, we all, everybody talk about economics how we need money, we need to protect it and each other if we are not living and breathing to operate these economic systems, these educational systems, if we are not alive or free that shit's gonna crumble. You can build a fucking empire. If they lock your ass up, then what's gonna happen to the empire? They gonna take the shit. It'll be like you never fucking had it, you know what I mean? So, I'm imploring y'all, we need to be out here, it's gonna be summer. Like I said, man, this shit could, this could be our, our protection can be our source of economics. You know what I'm saying? Point being made, man, black power in this motherfucker. Y'all know what it is. Community patrols, community task force. Um, shout out to Flint, man. We still supposed to be going out there Saturday, so holla at the brother. Um, if y'all still got cases of water or whatever. But I am so serious about this Milwaukee, man. I would hate, I hate to see my, my, my people going through shit like this, knowing how these people operate. We all know these public pretenders, and even some of the payloads do not, they not trying to defend you, bruh. Then y'all gonna spend thousands and thousands to still get slapped with time. You know what I'm saying? Come learn this law. Even if you, listen, you, when you get called at the law, you don't even have to hire, you can, you can use a public pretender. You fucking write the fuck, what the fuck this nigga needs to do, and you tell him you say everything on this motherfucking paper. And she gonna go just how you say it's gonna go. Y'all can see, like, if y'all follow my Vaughn page, y'all can see I've been arrested plenty of times. Beat all them fucking cases. Representing myself, I don't need no fucking attorney. 
come on with it. You know what I mean? It is what it is, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, it's finna get hectic. You know what I'm saying? We are our own saviors. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want change, we can make the fucking change. We don't have to ask nobody for it. We don't have to look for no fucking politicians, no fucking law enforcement. Everything we going through, we can handle ourselves. We built this motherfucking city. We built this country. Fuck the city. We built this country. This shit is ours. And they fucking tricking the shit out of us. Scamming the shit out of us. You know what I'm saying? So, listen, man. Salute, man. Y'all know where to catch me, man. Um, continue to support Miss Diane's BP station. Salute, man, to everybody who come through and get their gas and their food from the restaurant. She she really appreciates um, social media and everybody in Milwaukee showing her love and support. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Um, when you come in there and see me, holla. You know what I mean? Y'all already know. Um, but fuck with me though, man. Black power in this motherfucker. We all we got. Ah.